I know a girl who's so impure that she became insecure. I know a guy who's insane to the point he brought disrespect to his name. They mirror each other. They sister and brother. Now neither of them can be on the same page with one another. This girl has been insecure since preschool and as they grew older started acting like a fool. Not fool. No one could read her emotions because they were on the shelf, which only affected her them. Looking out for herself, she hurt everyone else. Insecure. Now she's in fear. She's done too much damage. Now people eat at her like a ham sandwich. At a disadvantage, she appears non-existent. She's on a mission. She wants to be seen. She's sometimes invisible, never invincible. Now she's discovered life's basic principles. This guy has been insane since he discovered he has a brain. It's funny. Because he's boosted without the help of an energizer bunny. Mm. He's a bit swollen. But he but there are not enough band-aids. He cuts on and off like a lampshade. Mm. He has more swag than a nose spice and doesn't have to be told twice. Mm. But being a bit swollen gives him energy for enemies or rivals, which makes him fit for survival. Survival of the fittest, and he's about business like an Italian mob with a hit. Mm. Everyone's a witness when he shines and gets out of line. But his sister and he dispute all the time. See, this girl, she causes commotion when she dismisses emotion. This guy appears conceited because he doesn't like to be defeated. Failing to look at the mirror in themselves, they're insecure and impure. They have my mind going crazy and their vision is hazy. But they quit the argument and bloom together like daisies. Mm. They cease the nonsense. The guy that's swollen is my ego. And the girl of emotions is my conscience. Mm. They are sister and brother. And when they diverge, they hurt another but severely damage others. Now that they're pure, they quit being insecure. Thank you.